Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, still with you, and we're now delighted to be joined over the telephone by our guest for this afternoon, Dr. Amani Ishinewi, member of civil society. Dr. Amani, very good afternoon to you, ma'am. Uh, good afternoon. Thank you very much, Doctor, for your time. Now, Egypt, of course, is actively working to enhance uh, its social protection programs and systems aiming to create more inclusivity and sustainability. How do you see this recent push and drive by the Egyptian government, Doctor? Uh, there are a lot of uh, initiatives by the, uh, by the Egyptian government to empower women. Yes. Uh, and uh, uh, a very important part, part of empowering women is the, uh, the social protection through uh, the programs available through the Ministry of uh, Social Solidarity and the Ministry of uh, Finance, uh, financing the projects for women, training them to uh, have uh, um, to be uh, uh, successful entrepreneurs. Uh, giving them a uh, uh, monthly fund for their uh, living through uh, the programs uh, of uh, Takeful and Karama mm -hmm. and the programs uh, allocated for the women. Mm -hmm. Indeed, Dr. Amani, as you said, uh, Takeful and Karama or the Decent Life Initiative uh, is a very important initiative uh, since 2019. It has begun with the hope of improving uh, lives of citizens and the underprivileged, as well as people who are not uh, fully uh, represented. How important do you see this initiative uh, with regards to enabling uh, the less represented sectors in society? Um, as for the initiative of uh, decent life or Haya uh, Karima as we call it in Arabic yes. uh, it's a, a presidential uh, uh, initiative for uh, developing Egypt uh, Egypt as uh, people and Egypt as uh, 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 transportation, houses uh, water, Infrastructure. connections yes. uh, as for people uh, the, the, uh, it is very important to develop people through education and health Mm -hmm. uh, so the uh, Decent Life Initiative uh, has special care for uh, little children through their basic uh, education uh, and uh, uh, grown-ups through their uh, technical education and uh, uh, moving to work and having uh, good jo uh, job uh, opportunities, especially uh, for the women and the, the youth uh, who are the, um, the, the majority of Egypt. Uh, so, uh, educating people, uh, taking special care of their uh, vocational training in order to have a successful career. Absolutely. Dr. Amani, I want to speak to you a bit about this initiative. How do you see it succeeding with regards to reducing uh, development gaps? So when I speak about development gaps, I mean uh, between the governorates and focusing maybe on villages that are less developed or less accessible, etc. How do you see uh, this bridge in development gaps with regards to location in Egypt? Uh, it was very important that the Decent Life Initiative started with uh, rural areas. Yes. Uh, that it's, uh, it was very clear uh, that uh, the initiative had its first stage uh, in the, uh, the south of Egypt, in uh, Upper Egypt, uh, in the less uh, fortunate uh, villages that were, was, were uh, uh, neglected uh, for a long time. Now they are, they are not neglected, they are developed. Uh, they have uh, uh, water connections, they have uh, a decent life, as the initiative uh, is uh, aiming for, a decent life for every Egyptian. So starting with, with the rural areas and the faraway uh, villages uh, um, uh, and next uh, the, the villages in the uh, far east and in the far west, uh, the rural areas, uh, they have education, a better education systems now, uh, schools are built, uh, health care units are built uh, over there in order to save them time going to the capital of going to uh, big cities for having their uh, health care. Uh, so now uh, it's better and, uh, and we have equity in Egypt and equity is uh, one of the, uh, the, the targets of Egypt in its uh, vision 2030. So uh, uh, moving people from being 
uh, neglected to being uh, under the start from having education and health is the beginning of uh, developing uh, them and uh, having them uh, uh, productive, making all people productive. Absolutely. Dr. Amani, uh, speaking about women empowerment, how important uh, is such a concept, not just physical empowerment or social or economic empowerment, but empowerment of a woman as a whole to become a more effective uh, participant and member of her community and society, all towards her development as well as the development of the Egyptian society as a whole? Uh, as we're uh, very fortunate, uh, Egyptians are having... Uh, Women empowerment since, uh, since long ago, it's our, in our culture, uh, empowering women was uh, uh, happening in the Pharaonic era. Mm -hmm. uh, nevertheless, it was uh, uh, slowed down and uh, uh, the women were less fortunate in certain eras. Now, uh, women are being uh, empowered uh, by the government and, and by the society. Uh, to take uh, her responsibility and to be equal, really equal to men in everything, in salaries, in, um, in job opportunities, in having education, health, everything, uh, and even in the social uh, uh, protection, women is given, uh, I don't want to say, even more care than men, but uh, uh, we are really feeling equal uh, uh, equity in Egypt in that part, uh, especially that the Egyptian women, women are very uh, brave and they, uh, they have uh, a lot of responsibilities that they take care of the children, of educating them, of uh, uh, being really uh, a half the society and productive half, very productive half. So uh, the government is taking care of uh, women and the uh, social, uh, uh, the, the civil society is also taking care of women and empowering uh, women, uh, especially in uh, taking decisions uh, in her life, taking, uh, having uh, uh, her, uh, her voice always heard in the vote and uh, everything in the country. Absolutely. On that note, I'd like to thank you very, very much, Dr. Amani Shinoi, our guest for this afternoon, member of civil society. Thank you very much, ma'am, for your time and your insight for joining us on today's edition of Cairo Local Time. Ladies and gentlemen, a short break, and we'll be back to continue our episode. Do stay tuned.